So the angel of death says, yes, I remember one time that a woman, a pregnant woman, was traveling by a ship. And while she was giving birth, at that time Allah ordered me that you have to take her soul. So when I went to take her soul, I took out her soul, she gave birth to this beautiful baby boy. And I extracted her soul at that time after she delivered this boy, baby boy. And I asked Allah, that, Oh Allah, what about this boy? The ship is now sinking. The ship began to sink because of the weather. It's stormy night. The ship is sinking. She's given birth to this beautiful baby boy. Oh Allah, I've taken the soul of the mother. What do you want me to do with this boy? Allah says that take a plank from the wreckage, put him on there safely. And then I will look after him. So the angel of death wondered to himself. He says to Ibrahim wasalam, that I kept wondering. That how is this baby going to survive? But look at Allah. Look at the nizam, the system of Allah. That when he saves someone, look how he saves them. This baby is on this plank. And it's a stormy night. He's being washed away. And Alhamdulillah when he comes to the shore, there are people waiting there. And people actually rescue this baby boy. This baby becomes, after a while, he becomes a young boy. Then he becomes a teenager. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endows him with power. Allah gives him knowledge. Allah even gives him a kingdom. He becomes a king. And he is known by the name of Shaddad. But this kingdom and this power got to his head. He became a disobedient of Allah. He violated the commandments of Allah. To such an extent that he claimed that I am God. So one day he said to his people. That worship me, do sajda in front of me. I am God, I am Allah. So they said to him, but Shaddad look. You're a king, we respect you. We honor you, we cherish you. But that's about it. You know, God, you're going out of line here. So he says, well, what's the difference between me and God? They said to him, Shaddad look. Allah is the being who gives life and death. Allah is the one who has created Jannah and Jahannam. So Shaddad says, so what? Life and death? I'll show you, I give life, I give death as well. So he told his gods that go and bring a group of people. You know, innocent people. People from the community. And this group of people are both before Shaddad. And then he makes two groups out of them. He says to his gods, kill the first group. So the first group goes, uh, the gods go and kill the first group. And then he says to the people, look, I give death. Then he says to his gods that go and kill the second group. So when the gods go to the second group and they are just about to kill them, Shaddad says stop. Shaddad says to the people, look, I give life. Then they say to him, look Shaddad, Allah has made a Jannah and Jahannam. Where's your Jannah and Jahannam? So this is the time that Shaddad started to build a Jannah on this earth. He gathered the best architects in the world at the time, the best builders at the time, the most expensive bricks, the most expensive equipment he could get his hands off, this man got it. And it took years, it took years, and these architects, these builders actually made something resembling a Jannah. They made such a beautiful garden, so many fruits in this garden, beautiful women, Trees, Allahu Akbar, such beautiful trees they made that the flowers, when it, the wind would blow, from the flowers, the smell, the fragrance of uh, uh, musk and amber would emanate from these flowers. Such a beautiful Jannah. He made a Jannah on earth. Now come the day of the opening ceremony. Shaddad is the special guest. This is Jannah. He's eager to see his Jannah and show the people that, look, I have made a Jannah as well. And he was challenging Allah. So he gets onto his horse. He is going to this Jannah on this opening ceremony. When he got to his Jannah, and when he was just about to come off his horse, he put one step off his horse, and one step he took inside his Jannah. At that time, the angel of death was there waiting for him. 
One step inside, one step outside. The, he asks him, who are you? He says, I'm the angel of death. And I have been ordered by Allah to take out your soul at this time, right now, at this minute. And the angel of death extracts his soul, takes his soul out. And then later Allah informed the angel of death. That, oh angel of death, this is that same very boy who you saved. You took out his mother's soul, but you saved him. This is that same boy whose soul you have taken out today. My brother's death is in Allah's hands. Only Allah knows when you're going to die. You know, at the time of death, there was one brother, his whole life, what did he do? He was an alcoholic. He would drink day and night with his friends. When his time of death came, listen to this carefully. When the time of his death came, his family were all around him and they were saying to him, Beta, recite La ilaha illallah. Say the kalima La ilaha illallah. And what is he saying? He is saying, give me a vodka, you have one also. At the time of his death. And with these words, he leaves his body. Another brother, hooked on to music, day and night, 50 cent, Snoop Dogg, in his car, you know, blasting this music, in his home, blasting this music, 24-7. Nothing else to do. At the time of his death, my brothers, true incident, sad but true. Muslim, youngster. At the time of his death, family is saying, recite La ilaha illallah. And he is singing songs of 50 cent and Snoop Dogg. And this is how he leaves this world. My brothers, you will die at your appointed time. But the choice is yours. If you lived a life of good, if you lived a life of obedience to Allah, if you were an obedient Muslim, you performed your salah, you didn't violate the commandments of Allah, then the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa says, that at the time of death, when the angel of death comes to him, Allahu Akbar. An angel of death, you know who the angel of death is? Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam asked him once. He asked him, O oh, angel of death, show me the appearance that you undertake at the time of taking the soul of a good person, of an obedient person. So Ibrahim Ali says, so the angel of death, he takes this form. And Sayyidina Ibrahim Ali salatu wasalam, what does he find in front of him? He finds a beautiful, handsome young man in front of him. More beautiful than him he has never seen in his whole life. Dressed all in white. A beautiful fragrance, beautiful musk was emanating from his body. A fragrance that Ibrahim والسلام, had never smelled before. Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, said to the angel of death, that if at the time of death, there was no other joy, no other blessing for a good soul, then your appearance, this appearance that you have shown me, would suffice, would be sufficient. Then Ibrahim والسلام, requests him, the o angel, o angel of death, Show me the appearance that you undertake at the time of taking a bad soul. He says to him, Oh Ibrahim, you will not be able to bear it. You will not be able to see it. Ibrahim والسلام, insisted. Angel of death says to him, Turn away, turn your face away. He turns his face away. The angel of death then tells him to look. When Ibrahim والسلام, looked in front of him, what does he find? He finds a pitch black giant standing in front of him with long hair all dressed in black pitch black giant standing in front of him his feet were on the earth and his head was in the sky and an unbearable stench was emanating from his body and fire was blazing out of his ears and from his nostrils the hair on his body were like men and fire was blazing out of the nostrils and out of the ears of these men. When Ibrahim والسلام, sees this scene, he fainted. After some time when he became conscious, he said to the angel of death, that if at the time of death, there is no other punishment for a sinner, then seeing you in this state alone would be sufficient for him. This is the angel of death. 
if you were a good soul in this dunya if you lived a life of obedience if you corrected your lives make a resolution today that inshallah we will repent to allah we will correct our lives we will come on to the way of deen inshallah if you come on to the way of deen and if you are a favorite of allah if you are a good soul then at the time of death my brothers the angel of death will honor you and as soon as he comes to this soul what does he say he says oh friend of allah allah gives his salam to you allah allah gives his salam to you subhanallah 